Hey everybody, what's going on? Mr. Tony of the Dead here, and I have a triple feature video review for you. Uh, this is going to be on Arrow Video USA's Nikatsu Diamond Guys Volume 1, and in here we have Voice Without a Shadow, Red Pier, and the Rambling Guitarist. I should also point out that I will not be trying to pronounce any names in this because I just can't do it. I'm going to butcher them even more than I do, you know, regular American names. So, I'm not even going to try it. A lot of recognizable faces in this, especially if you've seen Massacre Gun and also The Retaliation. Uh, there's like the same guys from this. this. These are from the 1950s, 1958. Uh, Voice Without a Shadow is 92 minutes long. Uh, Red Pier is 99 and uh, The Rambling Guitarist is 78 minutes. And they're all on here, each one with special features and everything. Uh, this Blu-ray uh, is limited to 3,000 copies and uh, just going to get into a little synopsis of what each one of them is about. Voice Without a Shadow is about this woman who was a uh, telephone operator and she gets a phone call from you know, this you know person and uh, she, she ends up hearing like a murder going on and all she hears is the guy's voice and he like kind of like says something and like he laughs and this is like you know haunted her for a while because uh they they tried to find the killer could never find her saw she was there for the lineup could never you know didn't know who he was years later uh her husband is working and playing this uh i can't think of the game right now um but like some game with uh for days with these guys and uh his boss for his company and uh, they, she's like very weird. The guy, the boss is kind of like a weird guy. And then all of a sudden she hears the boss on the phone and he laughs and that, and it dawns on her that's the voice from what she heard a long time ago with the murders. So it's basically her trying to, you know, get him arrested and uh, nobody believes her though. Like the police don't believe, you know, how could you remember a voice from that long ago? So it goes from there and just trying to like, make everybody believe that that he is the one and then she starts getting targeted in that and uh, it goes from there it's a it's a very interesting movie i like that one in red pier a man arrives at a place um and he sees a a murder happen with well he witnesses a man die in a crane accident which is actually a cover-up for a murder so they find out that you know he knows everything so he's on the run and uh, he's being tailed and by a, a cop a determined cop that's what that one's about it's a small synopsis but that's what that one's about and then um the rambling guitarist is this guy he he's kind of a drifter wanders around he plays guitar obviously and uh he's in a bar which is like the funniest bar fight i've ever seen in my life but he's in a bar and he um basically like saves these guys from getting killed or beaten up in that and here it turns out to be like the main boss like not yakuza but like the main guy and uh he decides he wants to give him a job you know you can help me out and he says no at first and then uh he eventually meets the guy's daughter and stuff and uh kind of he starts working for the boss and then it goes from there and he's working for him and everything uh another another good one uh out of all three of these i'd probably say voice without a shadow is uh the best one but i gotta say this isn't you know my cup of tea i i like drama and i like you know mystery all that kind of stuff but i think probably reading subtitles took me out of this a little bit um it looked awesome it looked very good very nice transfer you know from 1950s you know this is you know was really good uh i definitely like the guys in this though the main bad guy in voice without a shadow i remember he was in the retaliation and he was my favorite one in that one to see him again in this and you know you know they all like kind of like are back not not all the characters are the same guys but like they play different characters obviously but it, it, they all do a good job and they're all kind of like put out not too long after each other as well which you know kind of like like wow this one came out in like october this one came out in like november it's crazy, like they must have been like working a lot back then. But on this edition, you have of course the transfer, and uh, you also have the uh, audio, which is mono, mono, and as you're reading it most of the time, because it's all, um, it's all you know captions, which I'd rather actually read captions. It kind of sucks, but I'd rather read captions than. 
to see the bad overdubs on their voices. Uh, you got uh, special recorded video discussions with Japanese cinema expert Jasper Sharp on Diamond Guys, and they're two unpro un unpronounceable names. I'm not even going to say. I can't even say the word pronounceable. I just did. Uh, it has the original trailers for all three films and a trailer preview for Diamond Guys Volume 2. So obviously, you know, Volume 1, they're going to be making a Volume 2, which is pretty cool. I like that they, you know, put three movies in here and make it Volume 1. It's really cool. Uh, there's the extensive, extensive promotional image galleries for all three films. And, uh, of course, there's a reversible sleeve, which I will show you, and a booklet, which I will show you, with essays and stuff on all three films. So let me show you that here. Let's show the inside. And there you have the inside. There's the one disc and the other two discs. I believe these ones are DVDs, but they have, uh, it, there's a lot of features for each one on them. Like this first one's the Blu-ray and it has all three movies on, but then it also, like on this one, it has the DVDs and stuff. Uh, there's features on those two, then bonus features on this one. And then, of course, you have the booklet here, which has the front cover artwork to it, which, you know, looks really nice. It's uh, very orangey, but it, you know, it looks really good. And inside, like, all, you know, all booklets, it's the same kind of stuff, but, you know, information of the movie, contents, all that kind of good stuff. And, uh, you know, it's a good thick booklet, a lot of orange, <laughs> but... Uh, very informative as, as always, and so Arrow does a really great job with that stuff. And then if you get sick of the orange cover, you know, because it's a lot of orange, you flip it over to the original covers, and, uh, well, cover, I guess it has, you know, all three different movies on there, but those are the original covers from those movies in black and white. Well, not black and white, but in black, mostly. Uh, I had this reverse for a while, but uh, I went back to this just because it's the newer artwork, and, you, you know, you got to respect the new stuff and, and that, but it's cool that you can reverse it if you want to. Well, that's pretty much it, everybody. Uh, thanks for watching. Like I said, this is a limited to 3,000 copies. Uh, I'm not sure how fast that's going to sell out, and I know this has been out. It is out now, so you can get your copy now. But uh, be on the lookout for Volume 2, which is pretty cool. And again, like I said, this isn't my cup of tea, but I still can respect these movies. You know, they're classics, and uh, they're, you know from a long time ago and in J and also in Japan which is you know is is really cool. So yeah. Nikatsu Diamond Guys Volume 1. Be on the lookout for volume two. That's it everybody. Thanks for watching and uh, make sure you follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr, and Horror Amino. And also make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. And look for the trailer I'll have down in the description box or at the end of this video. I'm not really quite sure, but I'll, I'll find the trailer. There might be three tra different trailers. If there are, they're going to be in the description box. That's it, everybody. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.